if I can do it without falling Here. through the ship this can time. Can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. BD-1, keep an eye on Cal for us. Okay. Let's see. Gathamir or Zepho? Find it next. Search Zepho for ancient tombs. Uh... That's Zepho. That's where I'm at, Bagano. Gathamir. So we're gonna travel to... No, we're gonna go to Zepho. This whole journey has put a lot of wear and tear on the Manus. Like it was perfect before? It was a masterpiece, but now, ugh, just don't be surprised if I send you a bill. Someone's low on funds. I mean, sure, okay, that may be part of it, but I'm used to it. Were you rich growing up? Wealth isn't really a priority for Jedi. Yeah, well, I was poor too, but it wasn't so bad. My crew and I would find things to do for cheap. That's where I learned how to play Subhawk. A game which requires credits. Strange choice. Well, we were kids. We bet all kinds of dumb things from food to funny-shaped rocks. Unfortunately, things changed when we got older. Funny-shaped rocks didn't go so far anymore. The galaxy would be a better place if they did. So now, kid, it's time to land. Uh, okay, I need to sit for that. There's a hurricane. Look of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. You don't know that? Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> landing. Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Okay. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I can see you two have been through a lot. Okay. It's Let's not do easy. chats. Why no, not? No, it's not. When I think of those who believed in me at one point, if I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. BD wants a helpful droid. He does seem to be warming up to you. Cordova must have really liked droids. He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. I only assume he chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. 
Yeah, he's also health packs and stuff. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Nice work out there, yes. kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho Sage. They yeah. definitely use the force. An advanced civilization I of force agree. Leaders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zepho journey to the planet FBI, open up! Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe What's up, Nick Tease? Sheik, I look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. I think this lifestyle suits you. It has been a while. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, are you over there trying to get to bed on time and stuff? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. Rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Oh, yeah. Why'd you choose to stop using the Force? You still driving? When the purge started and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. But they caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. No. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Okay. Um, yeah, 96, I agree. I, uh, I haven't been playing it nearly as much just because of the way it is. I'm not a fan. And they took away the perks, or the, the draw. So, like, the loot boxes and stuff that you used to win as awards that had skins and stuff in them. Now you have that battle pass, and once you know what the battle pass, like, why play? You know? Give me a minute. I'm siphoning Imperial data. Okay, so she just has that one thing to say, apparently. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm great. Just enjoying some peace and quiet. He's just got the one thing to say. Let's put the seeds in. I think I got like two or three seeds here. Three seeds here. Wait, is there a reason to look at these things? Alpi, Green Mort, Royal Flues, and Gillipod. Alright, so it says I can go to... Cordova had supplies hidden all over Bagano. Setting course for death. 
Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. He must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They used the force? What, like Jedi? No, oh, I remember this place. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, about that. illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Um, they were a coven of powerful force sensitives, skilled in the use of magic and expression of the force unknown to Jedi or Sith. They previously ruled Dathomir. Night Sister society was strictly matriarchal, with the coven answering to a mother who also ruled the lower Knight Brother class. Their civilization was destroyed at the behest of a vengeful Count Dooku after Asajj Ventress and her sister's attempt to assassinate him. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. careful here. Yes, just here though, right? This is a deadly, dangerous place. I'm prepared to face anything. I know you are, Cal. One of the many reasons BD-1 trusted you with Cordova's information. We're lucky to have you. Do you know anything about the Night Sisters of Dathomir? I knew a little. Many Jedi weren't even aware of their existence, but being Cordova's apprentice came with some unique insight. He always thought they were interesting, as he did with most ancient cultures. And what did you think? I never came here. I never wanted to. As I recall, that was about the time the two of us began going our separate ways. The darkness always has an effect, one way or another. Let's talk later, Cal. Okay. It's okay, Grease. You'll be okay. You're with Jedi. It's safe. <laughs> I'm safe. Who's there? Oh, Cal. Wow. Are we ready to go? Just checking on you. I'm fine. Just fine. Just very much ready to get off this planet. I've heard the stories. Witches, living dead. Don't you have a job to do? Come on already. I'll get right on it. Okay, good. Hurry it up. I'll be right here where it's safe. If there is such a place. Okay. We'll be okay, Grease. Maybe I'll just go to We're the other planet and then come back here once Kid, I get I don't my know if you're messing powers, around right? with me or not. But I am fully expecting you to do just that, and if you don't, I'll haunt you. Need anything, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm really in the mood for a slow and painful death. You think you could find that <laughs> sort of thing on this death planet? Or yeah. maybe just bring me back something that will haunt me for the rest of my dreadful life. Any of that work, you weirdo? If you're not ready to leave, don't bother me. All right. <clears throat> Just step down here. Then we'll go ahead and leave, I guess. Come back to this planet after a chic or something. Yeah, now you're thinking, let's get out of here. I came to Bagano looking for my former master, Eno Cordova. Hi to you too. You two must have spent a lot of time together alone on that planet. He must have left right after you were activated. Do you remember the last thing Cordova said to you? Good luck, Jedi. May the Force be with you. The log left for Cal. Nothing else? Well, that conversation died. Down, kid, it's time to land. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, Imperial Star.
Star Destroyers here. Tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I've rigged the Mantis' transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah? Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No, it's right. I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All please. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't see anything. They're preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. Good. The Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. I feel like... Mookies have been enslaved. Or displaced. I feel like the movies indicated that the Sith people should be able to sense that Cal showed up. That was a close one, kid! Aren't you supposed to be watching the monitor? Guerrilla fighters. Wookiees and off-worlders and bushing Imperial convoy. Walker's approaching their position. Tarful could be with him. Tarful could be anywhere. Like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options. And, and we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We use the scrap walkers on Braca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in a clone war. Captain, uh, get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen. Those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. Yeah. No freeze grease to work as magic. Hey, do me a favor. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. As a favor strictly for you, though. Right if you're jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? <laughs> Wants them in the water. Oh, I'm dead. Get 
destroy it. Oh wait, what the heck? Uh, I don't think that's what I wanted to do, is it? Oh. Okay. Maybe it was what I wanted. New pulse. Your turn to report fatalities. <sighs> These guys don't see the floor opening up right in front of them. We've got confirmed casualties. to the wall or something. Uh, okay. Oh. Reading a new ship on scanners. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity and in falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Huh? <laughs> Wow, really? It didn't actually work. <laughs> okay, uh, throttle. Report, what's happening over there? You're in violation of Imperial Protocol. Shut that guy up. Stand down or we won't have... Better. Oh, oh, oh. Let's do this. That's a lot of lasers. You said it. Move forward. Yeah. Those good guys are bad guys I'm shooting at right now. Someone who just brought an ad out to the hey, table. Hey, it's Forrest Whitaker. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. We're advancing on the imp landing pad up ahead. With my fire support. Copy that. Let's make him even angrier.
headed for us. Can you do anything? Hold on! Oh, if we got those last two guys. Brace yourself, BD! I'm okay. You all right? No, you're not doing that again. <laughs> you just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt and peel supply lines. Hey! It's just safe to land here. These people don't care. They're like, whatever so, ship's showing up. We're who are good. you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Hmm. Seer, Grease, this is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Tarful? Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> you get that over corpse? The master gave it to me. This pad supports an imperial refinery that runs he on Wookiee slave labor. Gave it to me. Intel suggests that some of the captains there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Whoa, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but... It is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go! Go! Okay. Glad you're all right. Yeah, good to see you too. Wait. Your plan worked. And now you want to follow Saul? Um... You don't like that idea? I'm concerned you're jumping from one risk to the next. Wait, what? I fly my ship in the middle of a battlefield, and now we're talking about risks? Why didn't you stop me? My job is to guide you on your path, not choose it for you. So here's my advice. The Empire's overtaken hundreds of worlds. There's a reason Saw chose Kashyyyk. Saw's goals may not be the same as ours. We should be careful. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Just let me know when you want to go. Okay. Be there, you heard the Parsons? Rumors and cantinas, but not much to go on. They call them radicals. I heard the Empire's got bounties on their heads. You go to cantinas? Jedi aren't easy to find. We needed news. And drinks. <laughs> anyway, that's a story for another time. Do you think okay. the Inquisitors will find us here? I wasn't talking to you. How do you just get the side of the conversation over? You better hope not. We barely made it here. Well, we couldn't leave the Parsons and Wookiees to die. Cal, your instincts are good, but that's not within your control. We can do our part. Oh, yeah? That's it. Watch it be within my good control. Good luck in there. Tell me what's in my control. <laughs>